Welcome to GSR24, the Global Symposium for Regulators being held here in Kampala in Uganda, where I've got the great pleasure of being joined in the ITU studio by Dr. Cosmas Lakitson Zavazava, who's the Director of the Telecommunications Development Bureau for ITU, of course, organizers of this event too. Cosmas, welcome to the studio. Thank you very much, Max. Now, GSR24 is a, is a great event which happens every year. It's gone to all sorts of different countries this year. As I mentioned before, we're in Kampala in Uganda, which is wonderful. I wanted to ask you, what's particularly significant about GSR24? Yeah, as you all know, Max, uh, GSR is a premier event, an annual event of ITU. And we are very proud that uh, it is drawing crowds and crowds uh, every year. Last year, we were in Sharm el-Sheikh, Egypt, uh, where we broke records in terms of uh, the number of attendees. This year, it is very significant. We are here in Africa, in Kampala, welcoming uh, weather, uh, hospitality, everything. But we are looking at uh, basically two key introductions to our topics. Our focus always is to create an enabling environment in the information and communication, telecommunications sector. And uh, we are going for the first time to talk about artificial intelligence, regulating or not regulating. But uh, that is very important for us to discuss. And also, of course, we are going to be looking at issues of space economy and space sustainability. So those are great topics. We are also going to have uh, technology for climate impact and we will have young innovators who will be demonstrating their art in terms of robotics. So it's going to be a, an exciting time, and uh, the attendance is already impressive. It certainly is, as is the venue and the organization, I'm sure. Uh, in terms of what's being uh, going on here and what's being adopted, I know that there's a best practice guidelines that are being adopted here at GSR24 to help uh, advance regulation for impact. H how, how can that happen? You know, in the development sector, we have a slogan, it's uh, BDT for impact. So we believe in making impact and uh, transforming people's lives uh, through the work that we do. And in regulating, we want to regulate with a human face. And that is very important. That's why we call it regulation for impact. Uh, the most important thing that we are focusing on is to make sure that regulation is agile. Because technology is galloping and it's moving very fast and uh, we must have agility in terms of policy making and regulating and that is important. We also want to invite other sectors, non-ICT sectors, to participate in the area of regulation so that there is a dialogue. For example, the central banks to be discussing with uh, the ICT sector how we can digitalize and to make things easier for people to have access to their money. How can the best practice guidelines which are being adopted at GSR24 help advance regulation for impact? Well, the great thing about the guidelines is that they are consulted. So multi-stakeholder uh, involvement is very important for buy-in and also uh, making sure that people share the vision. So these guidelines are speaking to the need for agility in regulating and also in policy making because technology moves very fast and uh, normally policy legal frameworks and the regulatory frameworks lag behind and we are also incorporating an aspect of collaborative regulation making sure that all the other sectors are involved in our discussions in uh, making sure that we reach out uh, and promote universal or meaningful connectivity for all. Finally, is there a message that you'd like to convey to the delegates here at so GSR24, as well as our wider audience listening in and viewing? Absolutely. I would like to say welcome once again to Uganda and welcome to GSR24. It is a pleasure to have you here and don't hesitate to voice your feelings or your impressions. GSR is open. It is a multi-stakeholder platform and we look forward to your ideas on how we can move forward together. As well, Dr. Cosmos Lakas and Zavazava, thank you very much for joining us in the studio. Thank you for your valuable insights, and we look forward to catching up with you again very soon. Thank you, Max. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. And uh, if you've enjoyed this interview, there's plenty more on the ITU YouTube channel as well as podcasts on our podcast channel, SoundCloud, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts from. And for further information, why not visit our website at www.itu.int? Thanks for tuning in.